Enchester United, have next signing prime to go, after Andre Onana transfer completed. According to Fabrizio Romano, Manchester United are confident of signing Andre Onana and want more transfers to follow the Inter Milan striker. So, the Manchester United have their next signing after Andre Onana already, primed, it has been claimed. Eric Ten Hag wants the Inter Milan star to replace David De Gea. However, the Dutchman is also seeking further transfers as he looks to guide his side to the Premier League title next season. Manchester United recently lost De Gea, with the veteran choosing to leave Old Trafford after 12 years in order to pursue a new challenge. Onana is set to arrive as a replacement, with the Interstar eager to play in the Premier League. And give Misport say United have a deal for Rasmus Hoyland, primed, to go once Onana's deal is all wrapped up. Few had heard of the Atalanta striker 12 months ago when he moved to Italy from Sturm Graz. However, after scoring nine goals across all competitions, he's now viewed as one of the most promising young players in world football. The Denmark international confessed earlier this year he was a huge fan of the club, saying, now that you ask, I will not hide the fact that I am a huge Manchester United fan. So personally, it would be one of the biggest things for me, but of course that doesn't mean that I would turn down other big clubs if the offers come at some point. United's pursuit of Hoyland is, not far enough along that you can guarantee, he'll join the club. And it's also stated that Mason Greenwood could move to Atalanta on loan as part of the arrangement. Greenwood hasn't played for United since a narrow 1-0 win over West Ham back in January 2022. The club confirmed they would be conducting an investigation into the 21-year-old after charges were dropped against him five years ago. Right now, the chatter is that Greenwood will be able to leave United on loan on a temporary basis. As well as Atalanta, Juventus have also been linked with a move for the England international. And whether Greenwood stays or goes remains to be seen, with United set to announce their final decision before the start of the new Premier League season. Meanwhile, an unnamed scout has told the Mirror that United would be taking a huge risk with the signing of Hoyland. We looked at Hoyland some time ago when he was coming through the Danish international age groups and while he was at Copenhagen and Sturm Graz, they're quoted as saying. He was worth a punt but the money being asked now would represent a much greater risk, he says. He's still unproven and the Premier League is a very unforgiving place especially if you're in a Manchester United shirt. He's left-footed, strong and powerful so inevitably there will be some comparisons with Holland but he's not in his league. Holland is a generational talent. Hoyland's stats don't come anywhere near Holland and his finishing can be erratic. Another insider is quoted as saying, he's no Holland. It's strange too that he's mentioned alongside Harry Kane as a possible United target, they are worlds apart. Hoyland can improve because he's still young but any time you buy potential there's always a danger, it's a gamble. Manchester United fans will be hoping to get some updates today as the takeover saga lambas on. Share the same and Sir Jim Lactrife both remain in the running by Manchester United. The Grazers announced in November they will be seeking strategic alternative when it comes to financing the club. Nothing was left off the table including the possibility of full sale. Shea Jassim bin Hamad Altan and Sir Jim Lactrife emerged as the leading candidates to the takeover from the American family Grazers, but to this point, the Grazers have yet to announce which offer they prefer. According to the Fabrizio Romano and the report submitted, have suggested that the Qatar banker is in a poor position to buy the club, but any potential deal is not looking likely at this stage. For the second successive day, United share price dropped by more than 2%, which is often seen as in an indicator of the likelihood of the takeover being in the horizon. When the stock lies, it is believed that there is better chance of takeover being completed soon. Again and again, let's back in 2019, Life made his feeling known about how the Grazers ran United and what he would do different if he was in charge of the Manchester United. He told the Times that he knows his company never wants to be the damn money in town. Never. And the Manchester United are in quite a big purpose 
as a business they have not got the manager selection right now but ha haven't bought well they have been the damn money which you see with the player like fred united have spent immense amounts sir on the lot of salex ferguson left and they have been poor to put it madly shockingly poor to be honest you have different approach here to be moderately intelligent about it but to try to do it more a grassroots trying to locate young talent some clubs seem to have an ability to do that like southampton played in france league and manchester united in premier league have no, have done it real poor they have lost a pilot Arsenal transfer news. Concerning Declan Rice twist emerges as Musa Diaby offer made. Declan Rice has posted another message on social media, giving a behind-the-scenes look at his preseason preparations ahead of a switch to Arsenal this summer. It comes as the 24-year-old is made to wait on his move to the Emirates Stadium in the transfer window, following a dramatic saga that has played out for weeks. The Gunners saw two opening bids of £80 million and £90 million respectively turned down by the Hammers. Premier League title rivals Manchester City joined the conversation, having their opening offer turned down, but increasing the bidding price. Arsenal then stepped up their own deal, tabling £105 million that was accepted by West Ham in principle and resulted in City backing out of the race. It would take some time before a full agreement was reached, with installments being a key factor to determine whether the deal would go ahead or not. That was eventually finalized, with a medical taking place, but a delay in any announcement has caused concern amongst the fanbase. Reports have since stated that a delay is being caused by lawyers drafting final paperwork, which is adding frustration to the West Ham end of proceedings. Amidst all of the chaos is Rice, who is still in slight limbo while confirmation over the deal is confirmed on both ends. With preseason underway for most, Rice has been away in Portugal, where he is part of a training camp at a venue called, The Campus, alongside fellow stars. The England International posted another update late on Wednesday night, with an Instagram post that said, stepping it up. With preseason underway for most, Rice has been away in Portugal, where he is part of a training camp at a venue called, The Campus, alongside fellow stars. The England International posted another update late on Wednesday night, with an Instagram post that said, stepping it up. He was seen with the likes of Manchester United star Bruno Fernandes, AC Milan ace Rafael Leao and new Tottenham signing James Madison. The first two commented on the post with fist-bumping emojis, to which the midfielder replied with the same, outlining their bond during the trip. It remains to be seen how long it will be before Rice can join up with the rest of the Arsenal squad as a new Gunners player, with the deal now dragging on. On the other side,